Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. My name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a Halloween update, a spooktacular Halloween update. Now, if you're a fan of Netflix and you've watched The Haunting of Hill House, then you'll know exactly what's coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year in Orlando and Hollywood. There we go, Haunting of Hill House is coming to Halloween Horror Nights in both American parks for this year for uh, for Halloween Horror Nights. So we're going to talk about all the details via a Walt Disney World News Today article and share my thoughts on the new Haunted House, aka Scare Maze, which is what we call in the UK. Uh, so before we get started guys, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the debut of The Haunting of Hill House at Halloween Horror Nights in both Orlando and Hollywood. Subscribe if you're new around here, click the case bell so you never miss another video. We are getting closer and closer to 3,000 subs and 1 million views, which is brilliant. Let's try and get there as soon as possible, please. Uh, I love doing these news updates. That's what we primarily are. You know, you've got other channels that do amazing with their vlogs. I do vlogs as well from the parks and attractions, but we are primarily theme park news, reviews, uh, interviews. We're primarily the sort of off-park stuff, but we do do on-park things as well. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links, the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel, and also uh, the article, which will be linked down there as well. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the, all the details on The Haunting of Hill House coming to Orlando and Hollywood's Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> It has been officially confirmed that Netflix's The Haunting of Hill House is coming to Halloween Horror Nights 30 at Orlando and Hollywood. The maze will feature iconic scenes from The Haunting of Hill House, including the ominous and powerful Red Room and the infamous Hall of Statues. It won't follow a specific character or timeline, but guests will catch glimpses of the apparitions of William Hall, the ghost in the basement, and the bent neck lady. Uh, now, Mike Flanagan, the creator, director, and executive producer of The Haunting of Hill House, says, I have loved uh, Halloween Horror Nights for so long. Some of my favorite memories of Halloween were made at Universal Studios, screaming and laughing with my friends. It's such an honor to be included among such fantastic haunts, and I'm so glad that fans will be able to walk the halls of Hill House this Halloween. It is, without a doubt, one of the coolest things that's ever happened to us at Interpid. Uh, we are so excited to see the Red Room again. We hope to see you all there. Now let's share my thoughts on the debut of this Netflix horror phantasmic spectacle at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando and Hollywood for 2021. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is speaking about the debut of The Haunting of Hill House coming to... Uh, Universal Horror Nights, Halloween Horror Nights, Orlando and Hollywood. Horror Nights 30, HHN 30, the 30th anniversary. Uh, so, for a new maze, for a new haunted house, this is amazing. Now, again, Orlando, Hollywood, it's both parks. So, are we going to see tweaks compared to each one? Are we going to see the same maze in two different locations? It's up to you guys that are going out there this year to, to experience it. Um, trust me, if it wasn't for... COVID, I'd be straight down there and experiencing it myself, but uh, I, you know, it's one of those things really I sort of want to uh, play it safe this year, but I think that the overall styling of what we can expect, because there was teaser images which was revealed, which from the Orlando one, I believe, which which is the images that you saw on screen while we were talking about this, and I think the overall styling of it is pretty good. I think they've done a really good job in terms of styling this whole thing. So I think the the whole design of it, what we can expect to see inside in terms of rooms, uh, is pretty unique. It's pretty spooky. It's pretty great. Uh, I'm not a big sort of uh, knowledgeable fanboy of Haunting of Hill House. I've not really watched it, so I, I don't personally know the backstory behind it. I don't know what to expect uh, in terms of the story. Obviously, it is an IP, a.k.a. an intellectual property, uh, which the full name for it, which is something like Haunting of Hill House or any other Netflix film. It's based on a film or a TV or a book, then it's an intellectual property, a.k.a. an IP. 
Uh, now, obviously, like I said, I don't really know the backstory of this whole thing. I don't know the sort of premise of Haunting of Hill House. It's not really something I've watched before. I'm going to go and watch it at some point on Netflix um, now that this is exciting me. So I can get a bit more of an understanding of the storyline and things like that. So uh, any of you that have watched the show, give me some tips. What can I expect without spoiling it? Uh, but I think overall, from the whole styling of it and from what the maze looks like, without knowing much about the story uh, myself, I think that both Orlando and Hollywood are going to do a fantastic job working with uh, the team from Haunting of Hill House to create this spectacle, um, you know, um, the spectacle of a maze, the spectacle of a haunted attraction. And, uh, you know, big up Universal for working with the Haunting of Hill House for creating this maze uh, for the 30th anniversary of Halloween Horror Nights. So, that is going to be it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a spooktacular, tastic day. I'm going to go watch Haunting of Hill House. Get a bit of context. Ooh.